Today I will explain protoplast isolation. Protoplast means the functional plant cells without cell wall. They possess plasma membrane and all other cellular components. Protoplast of different species can be fused to generate a hybrid. Importance of protoplast. Protoplast have a wide range of applications. Some of them are a whole plant can be regenerated by protoplast culture. They are excellent materials for studies of ultra structure of cell. Isolation of cell organelles and chromosomes is easy from protoplast. Protoplast is useful for membrane studies like transport and uptake process. Protoplast fusion can produce hybrids. Isolation of protoplast. Each plant cell is enclosed by cell wall. Plant cell wall is composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin. Protoplast is the content which is enclosed by plasma membrane. It is essential to get isolated protoplast to remove the cell wall. Cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin can be degraded by the enzyme cellulase, hemicellulase and pectinase. The protoplast can be isolated from a variety of tissues including leaves, roots, in vitro shoot cultures, callus, cell suspension and pollen. Among these, the mesophyll tissue of fully expanded leaves of young plants are most frequently used. In addition, callus and suspension cultures also serve as good sources for protoplast isolation. Protoplasts are isolated by two techniques, mechanical method and enzymatic method. Mechanical method. It is suitable for isolation of protoplasts from vacuolated cells such as onion bulbs, scales, radish roots. However, this method is not suitable for isolating protoplasts from meristematic and less vacuolated cells. It gives poor yield of protoplasts. Now it is rarely used for isolation of protoplast. This technique involves the following stages. In step 1, a small piece of epidermis from a plant is selected. In step 2, the cells are subjected to plasmolysis. This causes protoplast to shrink away from the cell wall. In step 3, the cell is dissected to release the protoplast. Limitation of mechanical method Our yield of protoplast is low. The viability of protoplast is low. It is restricted to certain tissues with vacuolated cells. It is not suitable for meristematic and less vacuolated cells. This method is laborious and tedious. Enzymatic method It is a very widely used technique for the isolation of protoplast. Chemically, the plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose, hemicellulose and pectin, which can be degraded by the enzyme cellulase, hemicellulase and pectinase. The success of protoplast isolation depends on the condition of tissue and the combination of enzymes being used. The enzymatic method could be used as a one-step method or as a two-step method. In one step method, protoplasts are isolated directly from the tissue by using two enzymes, cellulase and pectinase simultaneously. In two step method, the tissue is first treated with pectinase to separate cells by degrading middle lamella. These free cells are then exposed to cellulase to release protoplast. Pectinase breaks up the cell aggregates into individual cells while cellulase removes the cell wall proper. This slide shows the technique of isolation of protoplast. The advantages of enzymatic method include good yield of viable cells and minimal or no damage to the protoplast. Leaves are most commonly used for protoplast isolation. Since it is possible to isolate uniform cells in large numbers, the basic technique for isolation of protoplast from leaves 
involves the following steps sterilization of leaf rinsing in suitable osmoticum plasmolysis of cells peeling of lower epidermis and treatment with enzyme and isolation of protoplast sterilization of leaf sample mature leaves are collected from healthy plants which are washed in tap water to remove soil particles and sterilized with sodium hypochlorite solution rinsing in suitable osmoticum after 10 minutes sample is properly washed with sterile distilled water washing should be done for about 10 6 times to remove the traces of sodium hypochlorite plasmolysis of cells the lower epidermis covered by cuticle is removed with a forceps stripping should be done from mid rib to margin of lamina the stripped surface of leaf is kept in 13% mannitol solution for 3 hours to allow plasmolysis of cell peeling of lower epidermis and treatment with enzyme 1 g leaves are peeled off and transferred into enzyme mixture this facilitates the penetration of enzyme into tissue within 12 to 18 hours at 25 degrees centigrade isolation of protoplast protoplast can be isolated directly from the different parts of whole plant which contains parenchymatous tissue or indirectly from the in vitro grown plant tissue or callus tissue purification of protoplast the enzyme digested plant cells besides protoplast contain undigested cells broken protoplast and undigested tissues the cell clumps and undigested tissues can be removed by filtration this is followed by centrifugation and washing of the protoplast after centrifugation the protoplast are recovered above per cool the isolation of protoplast is a fascinating field in plant research protoplast isolation and their cultures provide million of single cells for research studies thank you